Oh shit. You see fucking Dean Delray bumped into him in a deli in New York last week. Rico Kasich. Really? 70 looking like fucking... 85? Um, a, a model, dog. Oh, really? Yeah, Dean Delray took a picture of him. He goes, look what happens for walking into a deli. And he bumped into Rico Kasich and took a picture of him. Rico Kasich was banging the model for a while, right. wasn't he? Aren't they, they got married, right? It's child's play when it comes to... Oh, shit. It's time to fucking set the earth man free, bitches. Wednesday, 2 o'clock. Coming at you direct from the Voodoo Lounge. I got three different types of weed, maybe four. Who gives a fuck? I got Matt Lauer OG. <laughs> I got Juke Killer OG. <laughs> I got OGs for everybody today, you know what I'm saying? I got the weed Roy Moore smoked when he hung out at the mall. I got everything. Prairie Home Companion. Poor fucking Roy Moore. <laughs> He got thrown out of a mall. That's when you know you're a dead fucking freak. <laughs> but it's a beautiful day to be alive. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, you dead cocksucker. Anyway, we're here. We're queer. We're going to have a little special church today and talk about a few hot topics. But as usual, we got to set the earth man free because you got to let the good times roll. You know what I'm saying? How are you going to fucking set the earth man free if you don't let the good times roll? What the fuck you think you're dealing with? Look at Uncle Joy with his little leprechaun shirt today, huh? Huh? You little fucking Irish cocksuckers. Coming at you from the Voodoo Lounge. We're going to talk about sexual harassment and the fucking parameters now. No more headshots with women. No more signing your titties. No more none of that shit no more. That's it. It's over. It's over. You know what I'm saying? We're at an all-time high and I can't lose my fucking job. Did someone ask you to sign that? All the time. Women always ask you to sign their fucking tits. I don't mind signing your tits. I'd rather smell your tits. But anyway, that's a complete different therapy group. You know what I'm saying? We're here, we're queer. That's all that matters. The church coming at you direct. The car's first album. Let the good times roll. We, like I said, we got Juke Killer OG and fucking Matt Lauer OG. You know what I'm saying? I haven't smoked the Matt Lauer yet. I got to watch the news first and get all the facts. <laughs> You bad motherfuckers. Look at you. In the afternoon, banging a lot like soldiers. It's a no edible fucking Wednesday today. I got up. You know what I did this morning? I got up and went to the 815 strength and conditioning class at the YMCA. Who's better than me? I was fucking petrified, but I made it. I made the whole fucking class. Oh, shit. Lee, you ready for Jew Killer OG? Fuck, we're going to write for the Christ Killer OG. Why fuck around? Hanukkah's around the corner. Everybody wants to celebrate. Everybody wants to be part of the party. But nobody wants to send out invites. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nobody wants to send out fucking invites. There you go. There's my dog right there. Ready to go. All right, dude, come on, let's do it. Stop fucking around. This is not, you're going to fuck up the bong hit. You're already starting to get spots. There you go, there you go. Like I said, make sure your belly button hits your spine. You haven't taken this bong hit class yet, please? <laughs> hey, Anthony Robbins got a class. Uncle Joey got a class. You ready, Tarzan? We'll find out. Watch this. Let's do this. There you go. Set that. There you go. That's the oh, one. Shit. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. Oh, shit. Look at him. <coughs> Tougher than death. You understand me? Tougher than death. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Is that the Jew Kill OG? That's uh -huh. the one. You're starting to scratch. You're getting flashbacks and fucking, you know. You just collapse. You just collapse. You know how we do it here in the church. Everybody gets their turn. Relax. You want one, mama? Not really. 
Not really. Your hair looks beautiful today, by the way. I don't know if that's sexual harassment, but fuck it. Can you imagine getting pinched for telling a woman the hair looks good now? Like getting arrested, like people getting handcuffed and shit. <laughs> Coming to your office. You told Felicia on October 13th that her hair looked fantastic. I'm in court. TMZ's there. I got a picture of Lee naked. <laughs> Just because. That's that's the state's evidence right there. It's a beautiful day to be alive, cocksuckers. You're six feet above. You're breathing. And that's it. That's the most that could happen. There's no debtor's prison. You understand me? There's no debtor's prison. Smile. Fuck it. Here she comes again. Here she comes again. You know who did sexual harassment? <laughs> the guy in Greece. Not Danny Zuko, but the other guy. Kanicki, when he fucking told the girl to blow him at the movie theater. I'm gonna press charges. It's all over. I'm getting Olivia Newton John on the phone. It's over. It's over. You know what I'm saying? We're pressing charges 40 years later. I don't give a fuck. You understand me? That's a great fucking movie. I just played that video the other night. Like four in the morning, I got up. And, I, and it was Grease, the, the one jam she sings, Hopelessly Devoted to You. Fucking tremendous, tremendous. I got chills, they're multiplying. But I'm, I was in the eighth grade. I used to be in love with this chick named Valerie. And I used to hang out with a guy and his girlfriend, and they were best friends. So me and Juan Rodriguez used to walk to Harmon Cove every day to watch it. And I'd fantasize that I was Danny Zuko. And Valerie was Olivia Newton-John like an asshole. Who told you that type of shit? Uncle Joey, cocksuckers. Who's doing a bong with Uncle Joey? All right, I see you. I see you, big dog. I'm just finishing this one off, you know what I'm saying, for good measure. I don't want you to get excited here and go and Joey's blowing fake fucking bombs. We're going to talk about some good shit today because I have questions. I don't fucking know. I don't even know what the fuck. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I don't want to know nothing. I mind my business. I didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing. What did you do? You were standing right there. I'm telling you. As it was going down, a meteor flew over. <laughs> And you know me, I'm into fucking meteors. So I watched the fucking meteor. All right, one more bong here, we'll get the show started. YouTube.com slash C slash Joey Diaz, you follow me? You know I love you motherfuckers. Yo, Thursday night in Sacramento, that's all that's left, you miserable bastards. No Friday, no Saturday. You left on Thursday, but it's a good night. It's Red Star one night. I'm gonna eat like 10 stars and go on stage and just go fucking bananas. And don't forget, Sunday, San, no, Hollywood, Sunday night. No, LA, Sunday night. The No Vote Theater with my main man, Wheeler Walker, San Diego, the fourth, the observatory, and the fifth, Santa Ana, Santa Ana Observatory with my man, Wheeler Walker. Go to wheelerwalker.com or something like that. I don't fucking know. <laughs> You got questions, go to fucking Google, cocksuckers. Everybody wants to ask me what time, what do I got to do? Joy, what's with the chitter chatter? You gonna, you gonna burn that bong or what? Let's do it. Are you kidding me or what? YouTube.com slash C slash Joey Diaz. That's the place to be, bitch. And if you smoke pot and you can't fucking drive, call a lift. I don't know. That's it and that's that, motherfuckers. I don't know what you're waiting for. You're sitting there till your ass grows roots. Get up. Do something with your lives. Uncle Joey, YouTube.com, slash C, slash Joey Diaz. That's the place to be, you dirty bitches. I'll see you in 10 minutes.